we're going to just step back and look at permutations and combinations and kind of get a sense of what's happening in these problems so that we can maybe deal with tougher problems on the on the praxis test or just in general. Um, so for permutations, what you usually see is the letter P for permutations, and you'll see maybe some letter here N, and N will represent the, the total number of items, right, that you're choosing from. And we'll give an example in a moment, and then maybe we'll use K. K will be the number of items you're selecting. You are are selecting. And I think uh, you might see this also as uh, there are many different formats, but maybe this is the other common one right here. right? Same thing, just written a different way. And uh, what, what this is really telling you is that, okay, if order right, matters, right, let's count all the possibilities. That's what this is all about. All the possibilities. So I guess we'll look at a simple example. What if I had a a blue dot and a pink dot? Well, that's purple, a purple dot, and then a red dot. Right? And let's add one more for fun. A green dot. So I have blue, purple, red, and green. And now I'm gonna write in a different color. And what I wanted to know, okay, well, what are all the possible ways I could arrange these these four dots? Well, permutations are all really all about factorials. And the idea is that, well, let's go over here and say, I want to arrange these four dots. And to do that, each dot has to take up a space. So usually when I'm dealing with problems like this, I actually draw spaces. So instead of thinking of the actual dots themselves, right? I think of the spaces that I'm going to put those dots into. So in the first spot, how many options do I have? Well, let's say that I'm going to take a dot and I'm not going to put it back, right? So first I have four options, all four, all, all four dots. I could choose any one of them. I could choose a red, I could choose a green, a purple, a blue. But once I've chosen one of them, any one of them, the next time, in this next spot, how many can I pick? Well, I have three left. And then, then I have two left, and then I have one left. And to find all the combinations, you want to multiply all this stuff. And the reason, I mean, what I picture, I picture a tree diagram, right? We have first choice, we have, there's four choices. There's blue, and purple, and red, and green. And I'm not going to draw the branches off of all of these, right? Or label all of them, I'm going to say that if I chose blue, for example, well, then there's three choices off of that. I could choose a purple, a red, or a green. Okay, well, if I chose a purple, for example, then there's still two more choices, right? I could still pick red or green. And then if I chose red, I'd pick green. If I chose green, you know, these are the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four choices, right? Because I'm finding the total number of different ways I can actually pick out these dots. And if you imagine this one branch right here of this this tree, it's a different color, this one branch, right, is one possibility. But well, there's four possibilities to begin with, and each possibility off of that has three, and each possibility off that has two, each possibility off that has one. So if you want to count all the different branches and you draw them all out, right, you go for each of these four, you draw three, and for each Branch it branches of that, you draw two more, you're, you're multiplying, right, to count all these branches. And what is this? Well, this is 4 factorial. And if you remember what 4 factorial is, that's just 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And in general, right, we could say that what what is n factorial? Well, that's just n, right, times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and so forth. Right, this is the idea of a factorial. And this is going to help us come up with that equation we use and, and see so often for permutations. Okay, so, so let's just go a little bit further with this to get the, the common formula associated with permutations. So n factorial, right? So first we have n, and then we multiply by n minus 1, 
and then multiply by n minus 2, and we keep going, right? And how do we represent all of this about what's happening? Well, here this is going to be, uh, it's n minus 1, n minus 1 over what? Well, this is n, this is our first spot. These are spots, right? And here our second spot is n minus 1, and our third spot is n minus 2. And we could, we're going to keep going, right, until we get what? Well, it's going to be to the k spot. And this up here is going to be n minus what? Well, if you look back here, we had 3, then we had 2, right? We're subtracting 2. And when we had 2, we were subtracting 1. So we're subtracting 1 less than the number down here, or k. And... What, is, what does all this mean? How does this come together? Well, when we're looking at permutations, right, we're saying, well, n, p, k. In our case, we had four, do, four dots. That was our n, right? In our n, there are four dots, and then we, we want to choose k. We said we want to choose, we want to choose all, all four of them, right? Oops, choose four. And what's that going to look like? Well, in this formula, again, what what really we're saying is well you want to take total factorial and factorial count all the possibilities but where do you want to stop well you want to stop at n minus k factorial and this is interesting because in, in this case we have we have four things and we we want to choose all four of them we want to count all the ways to do that so it's going to be four factorial over four minus four factorial and we're going to encounter an interesting fact here 4 factorial over 0 factorial, and we can go into detail about this in other videos, but 0 factorial is just 1. So 4 factorial over 1 is just 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is what we found. Now how does this, how does this connect to other cases? What if I had, I don't know, A, B, C, D, E, and F, right? So I have 6 things, so N equals 6. Well, I want to know what what are all the different ways that we can we can pick two things. <clears throat> well, again, we go back to this idea of having spots to put them in. And first, we have six things to choose from, and then we have five things to choose from. So altogether, those combinations is thirty combinations. But how does that connect to the NPK formula? Well, we have six things, and we want to choose two of them. So what do we do? Well, we have uh, again the formula right over here is it's n factorial over n minus k factorial. So here we're going to have 6 factorial, that's n, and then 6 minus 2 factorial, which is 4 factorial. So 6 factorial over 4 factorial. And again, this is going to equal 30, right? We're just showing that it works. So 6 factorial, 6 times 5 times, well, times 4 factorial, right? Because 4 factorial is 4 th times 3 times 2 times 1. So I'm just going to write it like that, because if I have 4 factorial down here, they both cancel out. And we have 6 times 5, or 30. So the number of permutations is 30.